When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight. Oh, the summer trees, so green and vibrant and full of life, but also young and inexperienced. No! Put that down! What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense! little girl in red was walking through the woods, when suddenly, out of nowhere, jumped out you-know-who. Eyes glowing bloody red, teeth sharp as razors, and yet the big bad wolf did not seem to faze her. Be careful, little girl, the big bad wolf sneered. You're in fantasy land, where things ain't what they seem. Oh, shush, you big old meanie, the frightened girl exclaimed. You're the only threat in this wonderful land. With my magic crayons, I can do no harm. I can make the trees yellow, turn them upside down, turn grass into candy, make the sky go red. I can do whatever pops into my head. The wolf was unimpressed with his show of skill. You do have the power to do what you will. Alas, I humbly urge you to practice restraint, for you are responsible for what you create. You're nasty, jealous, and mean, said the little girl. I just want to have fun, and you want me to learn. I wish a big old rock would fall down from the sky and crush your big bad mouth into a minced meat pie. Don't do it, I beg you, the big wolf cried. You lack scale and perspective, my sweet little child. But it was too late. His warning fell on deaf ears. Down came the rock and smashed them all to smithereens. Oh. 
Finally! Are you ready to embrace true... Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life. But also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season. Where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. <coughs> No! Put that down! What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense! Creativity is not a toy! It's a gift! Do you want to squander it like all those careless brats out there? I warned you time and time again! I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles! This is for your own good! The little girl in red came upon a crossroads. There she stopped and wondered, which way should I go? Up Shh. jumped the wolf and gave the poor girl a fright. Do not be afraid, I'm not gonna bite. One of these paths with danger is fraught, while the other one, most assuredly, is not. The little girl in red took a shortcut she knew, through a lovely field of corn, all covered in dew. But the field grew dark and full of despair, and the eerie sense of dread filled the morning air. The girl heard the wolf yelling from afar, You have chosen poorly, you will not get far. Had you only learned how shadow and light intertwined on canvas, you could have chosen right. The little girl in red ran as fast as she could, her flowing dark hair tucked under her hood. But she quickly got tired, worn out by her flight, and succumbed to the darkness, never to see the light.
Finally! Are you ready to embrace true- Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life, but also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant- Brilliant! Let's add some more of the same color! That won't make it boring or predictable. Brilliant! Let's add some more of the same color! That won't make it boring or predictable. Oh, they sway in the breeze, but are none the wiser, just like you. Ah, yes! The autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. No! Any old house will do in times of prosperity! We need to see how it fares when misery darkens the sky! You see? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. You're not listening! How is some soggy grass going to help here? We need to make it warmer!
No! A wet rag won't do us any good, no matter what color it is. That's right! The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally... Marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. This is a mess. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time. Oh, where did I put that damn key? Not how it what? what is that? Oh. 
<laughs> yes! That's it! in here. Find a way to keep you in there for good. What's wrong with this thing? Huh. I don't remember that being there. I can hear you out there! Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. It's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world. Princess, you, you want to sit on Daddy's lap? Come on, it's okay.
Hey there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself. No, no, that, that's not quite right. <sighs> Still not quite there. Get your crayons.
Oh, Princess, don't sneak up on me like that. Especially when I'm working. So, what do you think? Oh, you like it? Well, that makes one of us. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear. Are you out of your mind? What? You said there was gonna be a party. I just started a bit early. Whoops. Not now, Princess. Go play with your downs or your crayons. Daddy's very busy.
You're insane! You're not thinking straight! You're right. I am sick. I'm sick of you not being there for us. We need you. I need you. When was the last time you slept with me? <laughs> Christ, when was the last time you even touched me? Do you know what that does to me? To, to know that my own husband is disgusted with me? Well, excuse me if I've been too busy working my ass off trying to provide for this family. But no, you're right. It's much more important to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. <laughs> you call that work? You, you lock yourself in there for hours, days. You, you come out looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. All right, honey. Something got into mommy's eye, that's all. You be a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. I love you. More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden. A disgusting monster screeching out from her bed. An anchor weighing him down. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving yeah. <sighs> Keep your head straight. Look at me. Do you want this story to have a happy ending or not? Oh, god damn it, not again. Fine. Because the princess wouldn't stop fidgeting. She was set upon by the evil witch's minion and dragged off into the darkness, never to be seen again. The end. My fault. It was always my fault. All I had to do was stay still. Day after day, for hours on end. Until he would finally get it right. I've lost count of how many attempts there were, but each one made me feel like I was his greatest failure.
I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Hey, princess. What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. But why pink? 